As you can see, there is a PlayStation light behind me. It's, it's lit up right here. So that means that everything that I say in this video is completely and totally incorrect and tainted by a hate for Xbox. Because I know that's the popular version of what went on there. And a lot of people like to believe that. But seriously, there's a few things that are going around when it comes to the video game industry and if you pay attention to it which is kind of insane really you should just be just buying things and playing them but people are really dug in when it comes to things that are going on and lately there's a few things again that don't make a lot of sense and lately most of those things are coming out of xbox and microsoft so i'm going to pose these as questions because when you pose something as a question it's less threatening people aren't like you're telling them something definitively and maybe they feel like you are looking for them for the answer but sometimes posing things as a question is like a trojan horse to get you to just sort of think about what's going on so the first thing is christopher dring who i never knew never cared about have no idea uh who the person is or what they've done but they're just like everyone else who's a journalist in the video game industry and they've gone to the game developers conference i don't know why anybody would want to go there and watch people scream at a building because men like boobies. But Christopher Drink said that he talked to somebody. Of Xbox, because that, that's the other thing I heard. Mm. Um, I heard it from a very prominent company and one not so prominent, um, was um, Xbox's performance in Europe is, is just flatlining. Praise one major company who released a big game last year said, I don't know why we bothered supporting it. Wow. And um, and it's an so we've already got we mentioned in the previous podcast we'd heard that retailers in Europe were considering um, uh, or, or had already been cutting back their Xbox stock on their shelves and mm. and whether that, uh, hardware games that kind of thing. I think Xbox is in real trouble as a hardware manufacturer, mm. and um, that was the thing that came out of GDC for me because I always just thought I've always been the belief oh it's the Game Pass delivery system it's good got a good it's got a good UI it's got a good controller. It's, you know, it, it's, if you like Xbox games, it's probably the best way to play them, etc. I thought it would be fine, but then I didn't really factor in <clears throat> that some developers and publishers might just go, yeah, I don't, you know, is mm. there any point? Um, and that is when um, you can lose it. And they shipped a game on the Xbox. This was a big third party that he said. And after they did that, they questioned themselves as to why they were supporting xbox and the implication is that nobody buys anything on xbox it's a dying platform 47 percent drop across europe we know that's accurate and the person said to him that they question themselves and they know of a few other developers that do the same thing okay the reaction to this is christopher dring is a moron he doesn't know what he's talking about he hates xbox he doesn't like phil spencer okay now christopher dring also said that he spoke to somebody, a developer, and they said that they heard from a few developers that the PS5 Pro isn't necessary and they don't see a reason for it. And we haven't really tapped into this generation's consoles yet. So my question is, before this happens, because you know it's going to happen, there are going to be people that tell you Christopher Dring is a moron because he said that a third party said, why are we supporting Xbox? But those same people are going to use this article by Christopher Dring talking about the PlayStation 5 Pro being unnecessary as gospel truth. So why am I bringing this up? You guys, and I'm saying guys because most of you are guys. Girls are just not dumb enough to fall for this stuff. Most of you guys are stuck on this social media. This is who I follow. Look at all their followers. Look at the support. They had lunch with this guy. Look at the pictures. Like and subscribe. Pay to ask questions. I'm part of this amazing group and nothing could be farther from the truth. I know it sucks to hear this, but you're being used. You're being told things that you want to hear. If you go somewhere that tells you 99% everything that you want to hear, there's a problem and it's you. So Christopher Dring probably is telling the truth. He probably did hear from some developers who question whether or not they should work and put their things on Xbox because ultimately you see it and I see it. Nobody wants to buy video games when it comes to Xbox. When it comes to these developers who are skipping Xbox, people put in there, why not Xbox? Why aren't you on Xbox? I'd love to see that on Xbox. And then why isn't it in Game Pass? I don't want to pay $60 for it or $70 for it. Why isn't it in Game Pass? 
You're getting the result of this conditioning, whether or not you believe it happens or not. And yes, there are some people who buy their games on Xbox. Yes, there's some evidence that you can point to that this game sold on Xbox, and that's great. But the majority, the majority of what's happening is because most consumers who buy an Xbox don't expect to pay 60 or $70 for a game. You can check out games like Dragon's Dogma that just released. Any real third-party big game that releases, nine times out of ten, the majority of sales, both digitally and physically, are on PlayStation. And then PC, of course. So, I think he is probably correct in both assessments of the PlayStation 5 Pro and whether or not some developers should work on Xbox. The next thing that I want to talk about is good old Philip C. Spencer. Another quote from Philly, and uh, it's another one of those, okay, doesn't make much sense if you think about it, but it sounds great. So Phil Spencer said the console market didn't specify Xbox. He said the console market isn't growing, and that's why they had to go other places. Now think about this one. The console market isn't growing. This is after Xbox and Phil Spencer said their games are going to PC. It's the largest market. Millions of consumers on PC, tons of money there to flow back into Xbox, to flow back into first party, to flow back to console, and then back to PC. Okay? Console market isn't growing. That's why we went to PC, cloud, and mobile. If the console market isn't growing, if the console market, market is stagnant, right? Why are we circling back to the console market to put our games on a successful console in that market? In other words, the PlayStation 5. I'll wait. Why would you need revenue from the PlayStation 5 console in the console space that isn't growing after you've already gone to all these other places that were going to be the saving grace of revenue? <sighs> you guys let me know in the comment section below. These are questions. These aren't definitive statements. Did you like the shirt? It's like this Larry from uh, Three's Company shirt. It's awesome. Also, the PlayStation lights in the background. Pony.